I, I stand by my statement. The additional capital we raised wasn't to meet capital requirements or deposit oh, requirements. The, uh, the decision to restrict GameStop and other securities was driven purely by deposit and collateral requirements imposed by our clearing houses. No, no, there, there was no li liquidity problem. And to be clear, this was done preemptively. But explain then, why did you do this? What, did, did the SEC call you and tell you you had to do this? Was there a problem inside the company in terms of liquidity, in terms of the amount of deposits that you had uh, to, to put it in front to the exchanges? A margin call happens when the margin available to cover any losses falls below a certain level. At that point, the banks demand the investor puts up more margin in form of cash or other collateral. If they fail to do so, the banks may have to sell their holdings to reduce their own risk. Day traders and spread bettors often get margin calls, but it also happens to institutional investors, such as hedge funds. The risk with such margin calls is that if one heavily leveraged seller is forced to sell their shares, this might trigger margin calls for other investors, resulting in a domino effect. Um, and so Thursday morning, right? Um, so I'm, I'm sleeping, um, but at 3.30 a.m. Pacific, um, our operations team receives a file from the NSCC, which is the National Securities Clearing Corporation. So basically as a broker, as a clearing broker, um, and this is where Robinhood Securities comes in, we have to put up money to the NSCC. Robinhood, uh, as a brokerage, has lots of financial requirements, SEC requirements. We have to put up money at clearing houses. The amount of money that we have to put up depends on market volatility, and we're in historic, uh, we're in a historic situation where there's a lot of activity and a lot of buying concentrated in a relatively small number of symbols that are going viral on social media. like hold the line hold the line hold the line don't sell have diamond hands a lot of the wall street firms are highly leveraged that is they are running uh with a lot of debt an enormous amount of debt and if and what they're doing is they're projecting using um mathematical models the ranges of probability that they can they can invest within uh with that debt that will allow them to be profitable and if those, if those kind of ranges of volatility are exceeded, then what happens is the company rapidly gets into a situation where it can go broke. In order to protect the firm, we had to limit buying in these, in these stocks. So we haven't really seen anything like this before. And to, to prudently manage, uh, uh, we had to restrict buying in these 13 stocks. So as the rules are today, the long broker has to, if he can't get the shares, he has to go into the market and buy the shares at whatever the price is. So that could have pushed the price uh, further up into the thousands. Uh, when that happens, obviously the shorts cannot pay up. Uh, so the brokers, uh, they default on the brokers, the brokers default on the clearing house. Uh, the reason we did it was because uh, Robinhood is a brokerage firm. I was scared, scared of a domino bankruptcy. I mean, I, I, I tell you, the rules require the long brokers to go into the market and buy the shares at whatever price. So that drove the shares up to $480 and then suddenly, it, it, I, I guess, uh, they, they, it didn't go further, but it could have gone further. In order to protect the firm, we had to limit buying in these, in these stocks. But, but it, it sounds to me, though, that you're suggesting that there was a liquidity problem uh, inside the firm. And, and my question about that then raises all sorts of new questions about whether there's a systemic issue uh, underneath the system and underneath the company unto itself. And why do folks get locked out on the buy side only? Since but then why are... did you allow people to keep selling but not buying? The reason that is so troubling to people is that they were making money buying the stock. 
because they were against the short side. Uh, preventing customers from selling is a very difficult and painful experience where customers are unable to access their money. So we don't want to impose that type of experience on our customers unless we have no other choice. And even though I recognize customers were very upset and disappointed that we had to do this, I imagine it would have been significantly worse if we prevented customers from selling.